Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another video tutorial on ASP.NET Core and Angular 7. In the last video tutorial, we created a, a navigation menu to test our bootstrap package to make sure that everything was installed properly. And what we did was we used some demo code from getbootstrap.com and we added it to our navigation menu. So now let's create a navigation menu component that we can use on all other components that we design. So a navigation menu appears here on the top of our templates. So to do that, first thing that we want to do is go to this app component.html and get rid of the sample code. Next thing that we want to do is we will create a navigation component for our navigation menu and this will be an individual component on its own instead of copy pasting the entire navbar code here we will add it to the navigation component so let's open our terminal and then let's cd into our client app now we are going to create our first component and to the command to create a component is ng G, the NG stands for Angular, G stands for Generate, C stands for Component, and then we will create our component by providing the component name. Let's call the component as Nav Menu, and then hit Enter. Now, as you see, inside the app folder we have a new component that's been generated it's called as nav menu and inside the nav menu we have four files one that is the .ts file where we can add the logic of our menu component and the component.html file where we can add our bootstrap code and the css file where we can add custom styling to our menu so let's go to the HTML file of our component and let's add our navigation code over here the code for navigation menu so I have added the code for our navigation menu and I will post the code in the video description the link to access this code so you can copy paste it in order to save time I had already written this code so now let's save this file and now go to our nav component.ts now here in order to use this component in some other component like we want to use our navigation component in our app.component.html we would need to use the selector to identify this component which is app-nav-menu then go to our app component dot html file and here let's create a body tag and inside the body we want to add a header which contains our navigation menu so here we are going to add our app dash nav dash menu component now let's open the browser and check what do we get so we have a component here that's being displayed and we have all the links that's our home products login register and logout link and if I go back to my code for navigation menu, I should see this code here. 
don't worry for now because you will see all these links appearing because we have not yet implemented the logic to hide or show these links based on the user's status if it's logged in or if it's registered and so on as of now we are just designing the front end of our application so now if you see that we have the access to our navigation component inside our app.component.html so if i open the browser i would see that we didn't have to add the entire code inside the app.component.html file we could just add it in a new component and place the component selector tag onto the app.component.html file now the next thing that we want to do is go back to our application and now let's open our app module.ts file and if you notice when you created the component the app dot module file added imported the component nav menu component and also added to the ng module so that means now this component can be exported since it has been added to our ng module so we can now use this component inside of the components so if you find an error where you cannot see the com the menu being displayed go to your app.module.ts and then import your navigation menu component and then add it to the declarations so that you can use it in other components if you don't do that then you will get an error and you would not be able to see your component inside the app component.html so now we have added a navigation menu to our application now let's go ahead and further code our front end the next thing that we want to do is add components for our login register views so let's go ahead and do that so once again we will open our terminal and we will add a component for our login views and for our register views which we can use for users to register and to log them into our application so we use the same command ng generate component and we will call this component as login and let's hit enter now we will see a login component being generated with the four files which include the html css and the ts file to write the logic now let's also create our registration component so let's call this as register and let's also create our products component so we would need a products component so let's go ahead and add a products component so let's add the products component so let's call it products so now we have a component for product for register and for login so now let's go ahead and design our components first thing that we want to do is go ahead and design the home page of our application so i have some sample design sample view for our home page if you wish to you can go ahead and edit your home page based on your requirement or you can use the same sample code that i have for your home page so let's create another component for our home page design so let's call this as home and we will use this code in our home page design so let's go to our application and now see that home component has been added and now let's open our home component go to our html of our home component and here we want to add our code so let's do that so i'm just going to replace this code with my code save this and go to our home page 
So on the home page, even if I refresh it, obviously I'm not going to see the home page code that I just added because I have not yet imported the component. Now let's go back to our application and then inside the app.component.html file, I want to do is my home component. I need to use this, correct? So let's go here and let's say just below the menu, I'm going to add this like this. I'm going to save this and then I'm going to see this. Uh, the images are not being populated because we have not added the images. But just have a look here just to get an idea of what's happening. Now, I want my navbar nav to be displayed on all my views. Therefore, I added it in my, I included the navbar in my root component, which is the app component. Do I want my home view to appear on all my views? That doesn't make sense. I want my home view just to appear on my home page view. And when somebody goes to this default link or somebody goes to this home page, at that point, I want this home page to be displayed. Other than that, I don't want this home page to be displayed. So there is no point of adding this home page component onto my root component. So we need to make sure that make sure that the home page appears only on the home the home component appears only on the home view or on our default we need to enable routing we need to provide routes that can manage this and in the next video tutorial we will be implementing routing for all our views or components that we created so this is the end of this video tutorial please like and subscribe my channel tech howdy thank you for watching